My name is Peggy Means, and I'm an Anglican priest from the Diocese of Pittsburgh. I regret my abortion because now I understand that the choice I made that day was a sin. At the time that I made the choice, my unexpected and untimely pregnancy just seemed like a good night gone bad. In spite of being a nursing student, I never understood that the life, there was a life growing inside of me. Instead, I thought it was a clinical situation and I would handle it with a clinical procedure. So rather than consider that life, I chose abortion. When I arrived at the clinic that day, I was in complete denial of that life. I considered my action that day simply as a procedure. A procedure not only to me, to my best friend who drove me, and to the man who paid for the abortion, the father of the baby. No one at the clinic convinced me otherwise. In fact, they supported my decision, telling me that it was the best thing, considering that I was 13 weeks and a senior in nursing school. For the next 20 years, I threw myself into my work, striving and pushing to overcome organizational challenges, trying to create top performing teams, hardening my heart against the emotional and spiritual pain that was deep inside me, pain that I would not acknowledge, pain that I eventually understood to be caused by my abortion. Even after I fell in love, married, and attempted to get pregnant, the pain continued. My inability to conceive after marriage brought more pain and was the first time that made me face the consequences of my decision to abort. The consequences were painful for me and for the people I loved. As I grew in my faith, this choice that I made so many years ago continued to haunt me. I began to understand that the choice I made to have an abortion was indeed a sin. It was the acknowledgement of the abortion as a sin that opened the door for the Lord to begin a healing, redemptive work in me. The Lord used my pain to begin a journey of healing, a journey that lasted many years and took challenging twists, sometimes even difficult turns. This journey helped me understand that the Lord was with me all along the way. He was with me the night that I conceived. He was with me when I made the decision to abort and he was with me in the clinic that day. He was with me in the years of pain. Through his grace and over time, I began to see that these many years that I spent striving for perfection, seeking approval, seeking attention, and constantly being disappointed in myself and in the world were simply ways to further stuff the pain and the shame that my abortion had caused deep within my soul. Owning the sin of abortion, acknowledging that I was responsible for such a horrific act brought my guilt and my shame to light. I was compelled to deal with it, to seek and to accept forgiveness. Along this journey, our gracious Lord gave me a wonderful husband, a beautiful daughter through adoption, and a call to serve him as a priest. He also showed me that the son I aborted, he also showed me that the baby I aborted was his son, and he gave me the name Samuel John and brought me here today. I know that the God that I serve, and the God of all creation, who gave his only son, gave his son for my sin, my sin of abortion. And I know that no sin, not even abortion, is too much for him to forgive. So to all of you who have experienced the pain of abortion, either as a victim, as someone who paid, someone who accompanied, know that God's grace is for you. To those of you who are faced with an unwanted pregnancy, know that abortion is a sin and there are other choices available. If you know this chorus, I would invite you to sing with me.
chains holding me, my soul is resting, it's such a blessing.